Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today, 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 I'm on a freshly wiped server as per usual. And I'm going to be heading to this sort of location. I see a bit of a forest and I love my forests, dude. They keep me nice and hidden and I love it. So that's where I'm going to be heading. And yeah, let's get this underway. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another Solo Rust video. This time, I joined the server seconds after wipe and decided to live in one of the most unique and coolest bases I've seen in a while, all whilst having a secret location for my tool cupboard. But unfortunately, things weren't going to begin as easy as I would have liked. However, the end of this wipe is definitely one of my best, so definitely stick around. I really hope you all enjoy, and if you do, subscribing and liking the video would mean the world to me. Awesome. <laughs> Let's go. Get that bag down just in case. I need a touch it. There it is. Sweet. Oh, what the hell? What's <laughs> going on? I'm just killing quite a few players here. Just gonna farm up a little bit of stone while I'm here, I think. I'm actually thinking this is gonna be a pretty difficult place to build in. We're feeling like there's going to be a lot of people around here just now. So I need to be very prepared. So I think I'm just going to farm up for a little bit more. Because the starter for this base that I'm making isn't necessarily cheap. So maybe hit a couple more trees. And then to be honest, I probably have enough stone. Here he is. The boy. Hey, now he's going to run. Like I said before, I wanted to head into the forest, so that's where I ended up, setting up the base in quick time since the server wiped. I would be able to progress here for the most part, but it would not be easy. Hey, we have a home. I can't afford a bag, a box, or a tool cupboard, but we have a home. So you know what, it definitely could be worse. I would enjoy a tool cupboard right now. I would also enjoy a box, but I guess those things are going to have to wait. This guy's got a crossy. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> nice, guys. <laughs> nice. And this is how it was for a little while. The players around me were much deeper than I, and I couldn't get anything done. I managed to farm a bear and place down a furnace, but whilst trying to farm for some metal, I got killed by an MP5 group just 30 minutes into the white. Ow! <laughs> and to be honest, no. I just oh. kept dying and dying. Oh, <laughs> just better. So after all of this, it was definitely my time to move locations, and it was for the better, as the wipe I would have from now would be incredible. I opted to move up north to the most tier 3 area of the map where I would get some great action, raids and some insane compound jumps leading to quite a funny ending. Here is where my wipe truly begins, slapping down the same base I did previously in the forest. Goodness me, man. 
This has been a cr this is this has just been hectic. Like, I don't know what to say. It's been horrible. And after about an hour on the server and finally finding a nice area to live and begin my journey, I began progressing. Okay, got a furnace going. I didn't have many monuments around me besides harbour, but Rig was just off the coast, hence all of the action I would be getting. So, my best bet for now was to farm the power lines for some early game scrap, as these monuments would be heavily contested. Perfect, let's get this other furnace down. That'll do. And also make a tier 1 actually, just need a bit of wood. And I'm also going to place the tier 1 in here, just acts as like extra protection for this wall. Just for now until I get the blueprint that I need, I don't think I have it. Oh I do have it, but yeah still, I need to wait. And in case you were wondering, this wall needed to stay wood so I could soft side it later on, as it would be a window to an unlootable large furnace, adding to this base's uniqueness. Easy peasy. And with my tier 1 placed, I craft myself a crossbow and a nail gun and head it down into harbour for the first time. Hello? What? What? Ah, oh, well, that was a good run. A hundred scrap for free. So many components, too. This is, uh, hmm, kind of crazy, actually. After finding that body bag, I had a lot of components, so I waited until the night time to go and recycle, also crafting a double barrel for those close quarters interactions. And 30 scrap that is humongous dude could be enough for a tier 2 if not then i'm really really close let's go give me in nice nice dude tier 2 oh 10 scrap And with that recycle run, I was able to craft a tier 2, however, my base was a mess and was in need of some serious organisation. A okay, temporary core, but it actually works quite nice. And with the tier 2 down, you guys know me, the first thing I crafted up was a garage door or two. Okay, this base is suddenly feeling much more secure now. I'll put the metal door here too. This is still a vulnerability, but it'll be fixed soon. Beautiful. I could also make a large furnace and surround it with wooden walls, making my base even stronger as I'd have to eliminate that wooden wall. I think that is perfect. Let's 
place this door on top for now, I guess. Hey! There we go. Now, don't get me wrong, people can still get in, but it's really awkward. Yikes! The original base doesn't actually have roof access, but I figured it's probably a, a worth thing to be doing. Moment of truth to see if this is done correctly. Base this like this. Is that reachable? Yes, sir. That's what I like to see right there. That's absolutely what I like to see. Boom. Okay, that's awesome. It's been a long time since I've had a, uh, a large furnace. It's going to make progression much quicker, hopefully. For now, this will be the core, core design. Smelting away. Life's good. Let's add these here because why not? I'm also going to add some low walls to the roof. I really like low walls. Hopefully, I can add a couple here. Yep. Nice. That was bad. That wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> I thought he had a P2. It's got to see through, but you can't really see through it. It's kind of pointless, but yeah. The base was coming along really nicely. However, the entrance needed some work as it was very easy to camp. Very straightforward, but it means we can add another door, which is pretty much what I want to do. Oh no! There he is. He's gotta be dead, bro. Ain't no way he's alive. I wanted some extra components like gears for more garage doors and vendor machines, so I headed in the direction of the Harbour Metro. I'm gonna die before I even get there. Nice. Whoa! Is he dead? Oh my god, he is. No way. Holy, what a shot, dude. And now, instead of taking a revolver down to the tunnels, I could take a python. R really? That timing? Uh, fair play, brother. Fair play. Or so I thought. That was the most unlucky death I think I've ever got, because that wasn't even the same guy. No, it's not even the same guy. It was just a really, really bad coincidence. Oh my god. Maybe I won't be going with a python. So instead, I crafted myself a saw. Oh my god, this run is ridiculous. Oh my god, good thing I did not go up. I'm not going up for a little while. I'm, I can't risk what I have. On my way to the metro, I also noticed a wooden base just outside of harbour, so I crafted a couple of molotovs and went over. Oh. 
wasn't anything special as such, but in fact, it was actually low grade profit. So you know what, I'll take it. Not the most crazy raid, but it was the first raid of the wipe. I then gathered the components from the metro and I headed back to harbor to recycle. That crate being there though, hopefully means no one's been there for a while. I think I'll be okay. Oh my god, it, he says. What the? I better be the only guy, because I'm not dealing with this right now, bro. Dude, as it. <laughs> This area is so unforgiving. <laughs> there is people everywhere. Oh, we got enough gears for a um, vending machine. Okay, that should be good. I'm not gonna bother risking putting a door on as well. I'm too scared. Yes. Oh, easy peasy, nice. This easy trick makes your tool cupboard extremely expensive to raid into, especially if the walls surrounding the TC are HQM with honeycomb. Very, very annoying to raid. Uh, yep. Oh my god, your kid, who repeaks that? I just lost all my. Who repeaks that, dude? <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, they're raiding a compound wall. I understand. They're raiding that wall over there. Shut up! <laughs> you don't want to make an enemy out of me. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right up from this door, you're gonna face a full fury of me. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I don't think you know who you're facing. I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll leave. This wasn't the last time I'd be at this group's base. I would be back in the early hours of the morning to do some classic solo ratting. But for now, I hit up the metro once more and then proceeded to honeycomb my base. That's the only thing we need to honeycomb, right? Oh no, here. Okay, I believe that is everything. Yep. Lovely and symmetrical, bro. Oh, yes. That is what tingles my brain. <laughs> okay, let's set up this industrial system. It's relatively simple. I need a couple of these. I just need metal fragments, basically. Place that box there. Just worried that I might not be able to reach the other side. I think it'll be fine. This is absolutely overkill for, for this system. It's ridiculously overkill. However, oh, what am I doing, man? Oh my god. However, what I was gonna say is that I have the solar panels at my disposal. I didn't craft them, so yeah. <laughs> so overkill. A little bit messy, but 
it will work. So that's all that matters. Ooh, raid. Damn. Well, time to test it out. Let's chuck everything in here. There we go. It should take it out as well. Yep. Perfect. Really simple, simple uh, system, but very effective. After setting up this system, I decided to explore some bases. Oh, there's not going to be any half fools, is there? This time, I didn't get too much from these bases, but I want you to keep this one in mind because something insane happens later on. <laughs> oh my god, what? Why did he have tenet? Thank you. <laughs> I noticed a base with a wooden door quite close to mine, so I crafted a couple of Molotovs to see what I could do. They're one. Good start. That means I have something in the base. Oh, metal door. Hmm. Is it worth raiding? Maybe. After seeing that metal door, I crafted four satchels and headed straight back. The only thing that worries me about this raid is that there was no bag in the first two by one. Or in the first one by one. Which means they probably don't have a full loot room in the core. Or where TC is. I don't know. We'll see. Could be an absolute bust of a raid. I'm dead. Oh, eight K. Hmm. I'm probably dead, to be honest. So cringe. So cringe. Bro, I'm dead. Chill out. Shit. I wanted that to be a straight kill, but unlucky. Whilst I was waiting for the area to calm down a little, I hopped into my close neighbour's compound. Oh yeah, very easy. Oh! Oh my god. No way. There's no turrets anywhere, is there? Oh my. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Yo. What is this? Um, <laughs> that's why people need to jump compounds more. Look at that invent. <laughs> oh my god. And we made it back. <laughs> Holy. That's ridiculous. 
And that is the exact reason why you need to hop compounds more. <laughs> Not only is it fun, you get some good profits. It's a solo player. Oh my, no way. This guy's an absolute chad. I was not expecting this to be a solo player. Wow, fair play. No, you're kidding me. You're joking. My area was still popping, there were players everywhere, so I held the raid off for a little while more and went to harbour to do another recycle. Uh oh. Gotta be quick. There's three of them that are actually coming in, are you serious? Oh. I'm actually just gonna swim away. God damn. Wait, that isn't him. Uh Leave me, leave me. I'm gonna die to this Tommy guy now, it's just written in the stars, bro. So what did I even profit? Cards and two SARS. Not bad, actually. Not too bad. Cards, yeah. Cards are pretty huge. My large furnace had been smelting through all of my metal so, so fast, so I decided to fully sheet my base, making it quite tanky. That's fire, bro. That's fire. That's actually fire. I think I'm going to go with the locker from hell, though, just so it matches with the theme. Damn, that's actually... Awesome. My area was still super active, so to pass time, I headed back to the compound I first jumped in. This time, their furnaces were running. Have a mini? Oh no! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't need metal. No, he's on, he's on. Oh no. I don't know if he knows. They have no idea. They have no idea. I hopped in at the perfect time. Oh my god, I'm on HP. I'm on HP. Go. Go, 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 go. Oh. <laughs> no. This can't be real. This can't be real. This oh my god. Like, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. 
Now of course, all of the sulfur can't just go to waste, so I would use this later on for quite an interesting ending. But for now, it was time to do a quick Molotov raid and then the satchel raid I'd wanted to finish for a little while now. If I'm lucky, this will have... Oh, I think I do see a box like there. Small box maybe. If I'm lucky, it will have like 300 wood. Salvage ice pick, hey! Oh, that was a bad throw. Should be okay though. It actually was a low grade profit <laughs> if I was to smelt this up, but eh, that's okay. Worth checking, of course. I forgot to check, but I took a, a small break, so I want to see what the uh, what we've managed to smelt up. Oh my! Well, that is quite something. Okay, I'm gonna get counted for sure, but let's send it. This is what I was fearing, what I was saying earlier. Uh. Oh. Okay, 400 scrap is not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, definitely could have been worse. That wasn't even that bad. Nice. Yep, there we go. I don't need to transfer any of that in a rush. I can wait for a while. <laughs> My bad, bro. And that, that was like a weird situation right there. Oh my god, he had hollow as well. I noticed that a new base had popped up next to mine, so I went over to try and raid it. Oh my god, guys. Just take the 500 metal. I oh, destroyed my ladder. GG. GG. Oh, they have a satchel on their door. Oh my, this gun, this gun is so terrible. Got my stuff back, I guess. <laughs> Besides the satchel. <laughs> they have the satchel, but oh well. A very miserable attempt at a raid, but nonetheless, I gained the SAR kit, so it was okay. I then crafted myself a wolf headdress kit and headed into the snow, where I heard shots coming from military tunnels. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. You know what? He had 11 sewing kits and I need a rope. So that was not a bad kill. A big online raid began right next to my base. So you guys know me. I grabbed my grubby little DB and went over. What? This guy was definitely killed by... Oh, I need to get back. By the raid base, I'm going. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. <laughs> but that was free as hell. My god, there's loads. Ugh. 
Oh, I'm scared. I'm not coming out of this alive, but this is going to be good fun, I hope. Oh god. Oh! <laughs> Imagine! I figured there was a lot of fun to be had at this raid, so I headed straight back. Like what? Like how are these guys letting me in again? They're so bad. That's why they're playing so deep, I guess. <laughs> that's so bad. This is awesome. Soon after, they left the raid, and me and my naked friend were able to scavenge the leftovers. They took ev- they took everything. They took the same. They literally took everything. Yeah, what the hell, man? Oh no! No! no. Still here. <laughs> Fair enough. My god. No. Dude. Ah, let me in. Whilst fooling around, I noticed that our base had been heavily decaying and was very raidable. And it just so happened to be the group I stole three rows of sulfur from. I now had a use for this sulfur, and it was on none other than the ones who farmed it. I was coming over here to see if I could steal the heli. Oh man. Um, they didn't get raided. They're decaying. Oh, this. Wait. They have armored doors open like this. Um, hmm. I might bring four satchels just raid the top real quick. See what I can get to. Okay, dude. Man, oh. that's better. Oh, my God. Yep, dude, this is going to be good. I don't know which is the way down. LMG, what the hell is going on, man? What the hell is going on? This is weird. <laughs> God, this situation is so stinky. Leave me alone. I don't know if they're all dead now. I think they are, they must be. I was about to say, nice, LMG, I can make explo ammo, I can raid with the explo ammo, but nope. There's just some guy there, I guess. 
I recognised this guy's name from earlier and I hopped in his compound, so all I had to do was go to his base and wait like a little solo rat. Thank you very much. Perfect. With all the sulfur I had got from these guys, the HMLMG, and having the explosive ammo blueprint, it was a match made in heaven. I noticed they had a soft side stone wall, so I speared it out and was met with a double door. We finally did it. Oh my god. I wish Explo Ammo was like back in the old day, where if you had a silencer, it was silent, like no one could hear it. It would be so much better, for solos especially, like me, but yeah, anyway, let's do this. You're kidding. I went the wrong way. No. Oh. Here we go. Oh. Oh, this is what I can do. Oh my! The boys, the boys are here! The boys are here! Ah! He's no shotgun trap. Oh my god. That box is... Oh my god. There's so many of them. I shouldn't have done that, but he was shooting at me. No way. What? Big, big, big. I'm sure they've probably come and gone, but maybe they haven't. I was quite quick getting here. No, they actually haven't. Big. That's huge. My LMG was broken and I researched it, not realising I didn't have the components to craft it, so I headed back over with a few SARS. And yes, I am going to be taking this many SARS, FYI. And honestly, it's probably still not enough, I'm going to keep it real. <laughs> Oh my god, oh, oh shit.
got anything in it. I think it's empty. Oh my god, everything is open, man. No way. Oh. Do I know what's so funny about this? Is that I raided them with their own boom. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. Someone's building in. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Any AKs? I don't even care that people are building in. I'm literally just going to make some garage doors and just chill, you know? Just taking all this loot. This is ridiculous. Oh my... Okay, we're fully secured in here now. The only way that I can get griefed is if the base owners come online, which would suck, of course, but... Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. Dude, this is not even funny. This is not even funny. This... Like, this was going to be the last thing I do before logging off. Look at this, man. Let's get this pay-to-indoor skin on. Yeah, look, there he is. I didn't need any of the loot, so I left everything in there and took off all the doors. I then headed back towards my base. How did I whiff that? Wait, they camped me hard. GG. I found where they lived and I didn't appreciate them camping my raid. I also wanted my AK back, so I did a little trolling. Oh, if only I had ladder. I have ammo. Wait, I'm gonna... What the hell? Oh. 
Oh, you bled out over there. No. It actually bled. Oh, my. <laughs> well, I guess I got the AKs back. And I just couldn't help myself. I heard a raid extremely close to my base, so for the last thing I would do on this server, I went to try and counter it. Don't know how many it is, one or two. I think it's just one. And he lives here for sure. Wow. What the heck is he doing with all that on him? My god, this base was juiced. I'm gonna leave before I get dead. Dude, my hollows just disappeared, by the way. Look, it's meant to be on this gun, but it isn't. What? Okay, fair enough. Buggy game. And just like that, I called it there for the wipe. A tricky start with an amazing ending. I really enjoyed this one and I hope you guys did too. And if you did, liking and subscribing would mean the world to me. Thank you so, so much to the channel members. Your support really goes a long way. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys next week.